During this segment, we're going to provide a general introduction to Clostridioides difficile infection. So what is C. difficile? C. difficile is a gram-positive, spore-forming, anaerobic rod. As a patient, what do these terms actually mean? Gram-positive is a term used for the gram stain, a stain that is used in the pathology lab to identify and differentiate different types of bacteria. C. difficile stains positively for the gram stain. Spore forming implies that there's a phase of C. difficile that releases a spore or a cocoon that can last in the open environment a longer amount of time. Anaerobic implies that the C. difficile survives in an anaerobic or an environment that has no oxygen. And rod is the term for the shape of C. difficile. It is a rod shape. And there are two main phases of C. difficile infection, the spore phase and the vegetative phase. As a patient, you most commonly think about the vegetative phase of C. difficile because this is the phase of infection that causes the symptoms most commonly associated with C. difficile, namely the diarrhea. The vegetative phase is susceptible to gastric acid and is susceptible to alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Plainly stated, if the vegetative phase comes in contact with these things, it gets wiped out. This is in comparison to the much hardier and much more resistant spore phase. The spore phase is resistant to gastric acid and it's resistant to alcohol-based hand sanitizers. This phase is the reason why C. difficile spreads so extensively. How does C. difficile infect us? Classically, what happens is we swallow the spore phase. It's resistant to our gastric acid in our stomach and it goes into the small bowel. In the small bowel, there is a conversion from the spore phase to the vegetative phase. The vegetative phase then multiplies, divides, and multiplies some more as it builds an army heading towards the colon or the large bowel. But our large bowel is a very smart organ. It has its own defense system independent of the bloodborne defense system that protects it. And that defense system is something called colonization resistance. These are the proportions of bacteria within our colon that can resist infections like C. difficile. In effect, these bacteria can fight off C. difficile infection. So what classically weakens this colonization resistance? Antibiotics, amoxicillin, ampicillin, clarithromycin, fluoroquinolones, and cephalosporins. They weaken the colonization resistance, creating an environment that's welcoming or more welcoming for the C. difficile, and the C. difficile can proliferate and multiply and take over the colon, causing symptoms. What are the classic symptoms of C. difficile? The overwhelming majority of patients present with diarrhea. However, some patients can present with constipation, something called an ileus, where our small bowel goes to sleep and no longer pushes the bowel contents forward. That typically results in bloating and abdominal discomfort. And finally, the worst complication that potentially can happen from C. difficile, something called a megacolon, where our large bowel slowly dilates and can actually perforate. By understanding how C. difficile can attack your system, you as a patient will have a better understanding of the various risk factors for this infection, the reason that the infection spreads, and more importantly, why various treatments might be more effective than others in getting rid of this infection.